Hey guys, welcome back to Staying Salty. My name is Chelsea and today, clearly we are in the kitchen because we are talking about neb cleaning and neb sterilizing. I got cystic fibrosis. See, I've got cystic fibrosis. For some reason, when I said we're in the kitchen, my brain immediately went to that rap song that's kind of popular right now. In the kitchen, like a stir fry. Whatever, that's exactly where my brain went, so ignore me. If you hear any noise in the background, I'm doing laundry, so being very multitasking today. But, neb cleaning. This is kind of a mundane and unfun topic for us to do, but it is so important since this is the main way we get our medications for cystic fibrosis is nebulizers. So cleaning these is so, so, so key because we are inhaling through these for some of us two hours a day. I'm one of those. Uh, so if you don't clean these properly and sterilize them, they can collect bacteria and thus causing you lung infections, getting sick, exacerbations. So really sterilizing, in my eyes, is the first line of defense against getting sick and really having a flare up with CF. When it comes to different ways to sterilize, I know everyone on this channel kind of does it differently. Cystic Fibrosis Foundation does have some tips on their website, I'll put them down below. And I honestly have tried every one of them and they've worked for different parts of my life. Right now I use a Instapot, and if you wanna know how I do that, obviously keep watching. But I have used a baby bottle sterilizer in college, really useful in the dorms. Wasn't as useful when I had to keep moving with it as I moved from my dorm to a condo to California to Atlanta. I just got rid of it along the way. Started using dishwasher or boiling them. Then I read somewhere that some dishwashers either don't get hot enough or they can collect mold or mildew around the waterproofing. Call me paranoid, but that freaked me out and I decided to stop using the dishwasher. I used to boil, but it became a little bit of a hassle. So recently I started looking into getting a baby bottle sterilizer again, which I wasn't looking forward to. But then a friend of mine actually suggested getting the Instapot since they were about the same price. There's like those baby bottle sterilizers are like hundred something dollars. It's ridiculous. Um, but the Instapot was about 110. So I can not only sterilize things, but I can make rice and food and all of that. It was multifunctional. So I felt it was a little more useful for paying the money for it. But if you want to see how I sterilize, keep watching and I will show you right now. So I tend to let my nebs pile up until I have none left. And I think I have about nine of them. So I will wait until they're all used and then wash all of them. I think washing them after each use or after each treatment just elongates an already lengthy process in the mornings and at night. So I wait until I'm gonna sterilize them to clean them and get rid of any medication residue that may still be on them before I even sterilize them. So the way I do that is I get a big bowl and hot water and soap and I will rinse it out in the sink, give it a few rinses to make sure there's no soap left, and then I will throw it into the sterilizer. So first I'm going to rinse them out. So now that all the nibs are clean, I, yeah, and I do use a glove because, like I said, very hot water and I enjoy my skin on my hands. So, then this is my Instapot. It's a rice slow cooker crock pot type of device. And I simply take the bowl, and I bought this strainer that you use to like steam vegetables, and it keeps the nebs all off of the water. So I will take the container, put in about an inch or so of distilled water to sterilize and then pop in all of really methodical with that one and pop it into the instapot lock on the lid 
Maybe turning it on would help. Turning it on helps. And then we will hit sterilize. It has a predetermined sterilizing measure, measure, which is 30 minutes, I believe. But that's for like sterilizing. Now it's already going. That's for sterilizing like um, canned goods, like when you would jar something or pickle something. Um, I just put it on 20. Like I said before, maybe call me overkill or paranoid. You could probably be safe with like five or three or two, but I put it on 20 because I like to make sure everything is dead. <laughs> okay, that was creepy. But I'm just gonna hang out here, wait for 20 minutes, watch TV, hang out, and then come back, take it all out, and let it dry. So it is done sterilizing and turned itself off, so now I just release the pressure because it is a pressure cooker, so it sterilizes it under pressure. And we'll just wait for it to be done. Okay, now it's finally released all the pressure. So take it out and you can clearly tell it is very hot and fully sterilized so i will show you because it'll be tedious but for some reason our household has acquired these ginormous tweezers so i will simply tweeze them out because i'm impatient and i don't want to wait it for it to cool down so that's me a lot of you may be wondering what i do when I travel because if you see my other videos I travel a lot so I do not lug this entire thing ow it's still hot this entire thing with me I bring a portable electric tea kettle and when I'm traveling I use my e-wrap and nebulizer I use it at home sometimes I kind of go through waves of using it at home and not using it at home um, but then also I do this when I'm on my case in month um, this is how I just clean it and then when I do sterilize everything else I will throw this into there and sterilize it while I'm sterilizing everything else but the e-rapid and the case tin both look like this and so I will simply just fill this up with water and pop out each piece which fits very neatly into that entire container fill it up with water turn it on and it takes a few minutes to boil and super, super simple. And then I just dump it out onto a rag or paper towels like I have here. And that's what I do when I'm traveling. Super simple. This is actually collapsible. Um, collapses all the way down. And so it can fit in my luggage. But thought I'd add that in there. But that is how I do all my neb cleaning, neb sterilizing. So if you have any other tips uh, how you want to do it or how you like to do it leave them down below this of course is not the only way to do it or probably the best way to do it um, this is just the way I do it and works best for me and I found to just be easiest in my life so let us know what's easiest for you and what you would like I will leave a link for both the instapot this little tea kettle that I found both on Amazon and the link to the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation guidelines on sterilizing down below. So with that, I will leave you guys and I will see you next week. Remember to hashtag stay salty, my friends. Until next time. Bye, guys. See, I've got cystic fibrosis.